Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boysell here. I was recently watching a YouTube video by another creative who was doing an interview with a guy. And in the interview, I saw behind him, he had a bookshelf, kind of like I have. And on his bookshelf, he had a book that said Logo Modernism. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And he was a really well-known logo designer. And he had made his name by just doing really good work. He didn't need to market or advertise himself. His marketing was just sharing the work that he had done. And I was so inspired by this guy. I was so inspired by the interview that I decided to try to check out and use that inspiration that he gave me and find some of my own inspiration. So one of the things that I think is, is like a little secret Swiss Army knife tool that you can use as a graphic designer is to pick up a book. Yes, a printed book. I know these things are rare nowadays, but look at this thing. Look how beautiful it is. Look how big it is. Uh, unfortunately, I bought a used version because it was like 70 bucks brand new. And I was like, oh, let me see if I could just save a couple bucks. And it's got a little rip in the spine, which is not a big deal. But you can see here, this thing is massive. And inside of this book is literally every logo concept you could possibly imagine. This book is called Logo Modernism. It's by Jens Mueller and Julius Wiedemann. Wiedemann and you can see here it has some of the shapes, but Literally, it's in alphabetical order. It talks about logo. I mean, this thing is absolutely from less line art to the origins of logos. It is just an incredible piece. They have monograms like this with the swan and the simplicity over the years. You can see how it's gone. Big name brands, how to use dots. I mean, you name it, it's pretty much in here. There's different symbols, there's different shapes. Um, you can pull this as inspiration. If you're looking for ideas for logo design, this is a really quick and easy way to kind of cut all the noise than searches, searching online. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this is because you could spend hours and hours and hours searching online for different types of logo design concepts and inspiration. Why not go back to the roots? Why not go back to the original? And so in here, they literally have logos and I'll just put this on my desk here so you can see this a little bit better for every letter of the alphabet. So they have W, they have Y, here's the S ones, right? Here's all the different concepts for S. Then you can go back and have another page. Here's some more S concepts. There's some beautiful ones right here. Like, look at that. Simple, clean, sophisticated. These are really gorgeous concepts that you can pull from. And it even says who these logos are for. These are existing logos. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to make modifications to it, make it your own. But some of these companies may not be around anymore. 1976, 1960s, 1982. Now we're in the R's and going into the Q's. Here's some P, different P logos. So you can use this as inspiration for yourself to really come up with some really neat logo designs. This thing is endless. I could go on and on about it. I mean, there's just so much cool stuff in here. It shows even signage, and how the logo is used across signage. Um, there's a lot of color artwork, but there's a lot of black and white as well. And then there's some huge brands in here. I think there's a few pages where it shows just some like main household names that, you know, who designed their logos and all that stuff. So I wanted to show you guys this because I just thought this was a really neat conversation topic. It was a really neat um, purchase for me and I bought it because I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about it. I mean, look at these concepts. Super cool, but just the different styles and shapes. It's pretty much endless. If you want a logo design concept, you can find it here in this book. Um, and like I said, there's major name brands, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. They're all in here. Their logos, their, their symbols, their logo marks, the word marks, I mean, everything. We're talking about 432 pages. So this thing is massive um, from fonts and everything. So if you wanted to check out a really cool book, you wanted to get inspired, if you're an aspiring logo designer and you wanna sharpen your ax, this will give you the edge against all your competition. And that's why I wanted to bring this to your attention. I think they make these in smaller versions, so they're not so big. I mean, look at this thing, it's bigger than my head. But if you wanted to get the smaller version, I would highly recommend it. Check it out. It runs you 30 to 70 bucks, just depending on which one you get. And it says it right in here, a collection of a 6,000 logos from 1940 to 1980, ranging from new media outfits to retail giants, airlines, art galleries. These clean, clear logo concepts may be seen as the visual birth of corporate identity. If you do corporate identity, this is your way to go. So I want to show you guys this. Hope you love it. There's going to be a link down in the description if you want to get your own version of this. And uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. I'd love to kind of talk more about it. So hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.